the late 1970s found me working as a librarian in the Batty Library, that part of the state library responsible for collecting Western Australia's documentary heritage. This was when it was in the old building across near the WA Museum. The Batty Library was in a part of the building that included old living quarters, and as a consequence, our work area comprised a rabbit warren of small rooms behind the Batty Reading Room. The reading room was a fraction of the size of the current area, but it did have one advantage. The windows could be opened. This was very useful when closing time was approaching because one could accidentally slam the windows shut to give readers a subtle hint that they should start packing up themselves. And remember, these were in the days when the library stayed open until 9.45pm, so we were always keen to leave on time. I worked for many years in one of the small back rooms with a lovely woman who had retired many years previously, but who worked part-time as a cataloguer. I'll call her Mrs S. The room was cold in winter, hot in summer, and filled with two desks and one mm? luxury item, a foot heater or radiator that could be located under one of the desks. It did heat a small area, but one had to be careful about leaving shoes on the heater because it could melt the soles. The main part of the room, though, was full of old, irreplaceable, fragile, and very musty and dusty archives, a major part of Western Australia's documentary heritage. Now, cataloguing was and is a tedious job, and distractions, however small, were needed to make the job bearable. Mrs S had a wonderful and very personal way of alleviating the boredom. Singing? No. Talking? No. Sleeping? No. Mrs S had patented her own method, chain smoking, very strong, acrid smelling cigarettes. Yes, this was in the aforementioned room full of tinder dry, irreplaceable archives. The place reeked of stale cigarette smoke and I wonder now how I must have smelt when I was out in the reading room helping readers. The good news is that Mrs S and I weren't burnt to death. Catalogers now no longer smoke at their desks, and the archives survived and are now stored away in environmentally controlled conditions, maybe with just a hint of the smell of cigarette smoke.